The Ministry of the Presidency recently announced that Cabinet approved a proposal to remove custodial sentences for 30 grams or less of marijuana. This means that persons found guilty of possession of small amounts will not be jailed but will face alternative sentencing. But these changes are not yet law. Nevertheless, Joseph Harmon, the Director General of the Ministry of the Presidency, believes magistrates could start implementing the proposal. In the interim, since it is clear what government's position is on this matter, I believe that there is some ruling, a high court ruling, which says that magistrates can take notice of situations like this and so exercise that discretion, even now before the law becomes um, put in place so that it affects everybody. So I believe that it is something which our judiciary um, can in fact take notice of uh, we're not saying that they have to do it, but we're saying that it, they can take notice of it. And so in their, the guidelines which they use for sentencing, that this can be taken into consideration. Harmon said the judiciary can implement this proposal while the government prepares to take a bill to the National Assembly to have the proposed changes become law. The existing Narcotics Drugs Act of 1988, which criminalizes marijuana use, does not have discretion when dealing with matters above a certain level. It mandates a three-year jail sentence for persons caught with the substance. While many people have been longing for these changes, the opposition is contending that the move at this point is in breach of the Constitution and the CCJ ruling. According to the CCJ, the government should be in caretaker mode since it was defeated by a no-confidence motion last year. Opposition leader Bart Jagdio at a press conference earlier today insisted that an illegal cabinet cannot approve the removal of custodial sentences for small amounts of marijuana. We made it clear at the beginning. We said the PPP would allow a conscience vote on the matter. We put it in our 2015 manifesto. You check our manifesto. We said the PPP will, will allow a, a, vote of no, a, a conscience vote on the matter. We made a clear our position. We are urging them. They had a bill from 2015 table in Parliament. We are now in 2019, and they didn't find time to discuss the, any of it the bill to bring it forward. They found time to increase their salaries and perks by, by 50 to 100 percent. But now we're approaching elections, suddenly marijuana become decriminalization becomes an issue. If people fall for this, then God helps us as a country. Reporting for Earth Evening News, Fanu Manik Chand.